Um, moving on. Moving on. I want to play this clip. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Bear with me a second here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, thank God. I'm. I thank God I've got it right here. So, I want to play this clip right because <laughs> I feel like this clip kind of perfectly illustrates some of the things you know some people out there think like brendan's are like what you, what they call it they say like he's a psych was it a psychopath is that the one without without feelings is that the one without empathy psychopath meaning is that the one without empathy let me just double check this yo big up richie appreciate the ten dollars well, here's another for the Balenci Balenciaga Fund, <laughs> since this is serious. Yeah, we're getting serious. We're getting very serious. Big up with you. Appreciate you. Um, psychopath is uh, mentally unstable. Nope, it's not that. Okay, people are saying sociopath. Okay, it's socio. My bad. Sociopath. So, people say this about antisocial personal disorder, sometimes called sociopathy. Um, socio sociopathy, sociopathy is a mental health condition in which a person consistently shows no regard for right and wrong and ignores the rights and feelings of others. Okay. I don't think it's he's anti. Oh, okay. I get what they mean. It's an antisocial personality disorder, but it doesn't mean he's anti. Because I don't, whenever I see this, I don't think of Brendan as being antisocial. That's really the bad way to describe him. So I guess the antisocial personality disorder is a gr is how you group these types um, of disorders, I guess, in that regard. I get it that way. So people say that about Brendan, right? He's a sociopath. I think there may be some truth to this, right? Because I just rem I was reminded of this clip, which I'm going to play now. Um, oh, narcissism is another one as well, isn't it? Right? Yeah, that's a that, that's a lack of empathy as well, right? For 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 people and their feelings, right? Let me get that up as well. Narcissism. Narcissism. Uh, talking about narcissism and that fucking Playboy Carti tour has been delayed, and it? it's been pushed back a few a few dates. The narcissist tour he's got going on. So fucking annoyed. I really wanted to go, but I don't know, man. It looks like a lot of these big artists, their ticket sales aren't as great when they put on their own little festival tour things. So, um, according to Google, they're saying narcissism overview narcissistic narcissistic personality disorder it's a mental health condition in which the people have an unreasonably high sense um of their own importance which is a great way to describe brendan to be fair and maybe all content creators isn't it maybe even me to some to some to some degree you have to have a kind of a high sense of your own importance to turn on a stream and think people give a shit right maybe i don't know i don't think so but maybe um they need to seek and too much attention and want people to admire them people with this disorder may lack a, a ability to understand or care about the feelings of others i agree oh my god super jello j equals shark path <laughs> now let's not do that let's not do that about the family i don't want to go to hell that's too much please shark path you guys are too much best brains in the business help <laughs> shark path you guys are too much man i'm not i'm not i'm not taking part i don't want to go to hell i want to go to heaven i want to meet my family members up there i want to meet my ancestors you know what i mean um anyway so the common theory out there is that brendan might be one of those people right and i might have to agree based on a couple of these videos that i just found on the final kid subreddit i want to play for you right these are kind of old so don't be alarmed if you've already seen them but I think this is a good way to kind of describe a little bit of his, you know, of this condition that he may or may not have. Let's play this shit because Brendan's a fucking son. It's just from a few years ago. So please bear with me. Grandma died. Sucks, man. Yeah, it was expected. You know, she had stage four pa pancreatic cancer um, and probably a year and change ago, a year and almost a year and a half ago, she was diagnosed. Right. And so... Uh, you know, what are you going to do when you have stage four? Then that was stage four a year and a half ago. Usually they only give you a few weeks to live. And she kept powering through it. I pumped her full of CBD. Uh, not sure if that helped. There's Thank no, um, Thank you know, research to prove that that helps. Thank but em. I like to think it helped out a little. She kept on asking for it. I'd send it every month. My boy, Brady <laughs> Bell, would send it every month to her house in Chicago. And then she passed away last night, but it was expected. Not last night. We thought... 
you know, probably two weeks ago, they're like, oh, it's not looking good. The nurse was like, you know, her body's, I guess they, the body, get, even while the person's alive, it gives signs, mm -hmm. you know? So she's like, she's in that stage. So, you know, and then we're all getting ready to take the family to lunch yesterday. And my mother-in-law was over and she gets a call and we're like headed out the door. And she's like, what? And then, yeah. Game, set, match. And <laughs> uh, yeah, Grim Reaper Sorry. came knocking on the door in Chicago. <sighs> So they had to fly out to Chicago. Got the kiddo solo. It's it's chaos when you got two kids. Two, you know, one four year old and one uh, he'll be nine months in two days. In two days he'll be nine wow. months. It's like a shit. Um, it's it's fun. Man. It's chaos, but it I love I love the game set. I love the game set match. I love that. Let's play it one more time. Let's have a game set match. Take the family to lunch yesterday, and my mother in law was over, and she gets a call, and we're like headed out the door, and she's like, "What?" And then. Yeah. Game set match. <laughs> Game. Brendan Shaw. And it's, it's like it's like the announcers on tennis, isn't it? <laughs> the umpires. Is it called the umpires, right? Game set match. <laughs> Brendan Shaw. <Shorb>. Point. <laughs> Deuce. <laughs> Bro, he's talking about <laughs> He's talking about his wife's grandmother, bro. Like, honestly, like this level of like not giving a fucking fuck is crazy. It almost sounded like he was kind of annoyed that the news came as they were about to leave for dinner. Doesn't it sound like it? It did sound like a little bit like he was annoyed that they were leaving to go to dinner. And then the news came then like, oh, my God, man, what a flipping hassle. Now I have to stop and pretend I care. It's like, bro, like, come on, bro. And the CBD to help with fucking, what you call it? Um, with pantry, was it pancreatic cancer? You said, right? That she got. Was it pan pantry, pan pancreatic? Is it? Let me play it one more time. Died. Sucks, man. Yeah. It was expected. You know, she had stage four pa pancreatic cancer. Yes, it was. Stage four cancer. And this guy assumed or thought his little CBD slash hemp oils were going to help her. <laughs> That's like giving somebody that's suffering from cancer a glass of water. <laughs> Holy shit. Brendan is another level. Yo, have a glass of water. What? <laughs> like, like um, I don't think you kind of appreciate the severity of the issue that we're currently going through. But yeah, this may be one of the examples of why some people may think Brendan is a sociopath, right? Maybe one of the examples why. And it gets kind of worse, right? It gets kind of worse because I did manage to stumble upon a picture. <laughs> sorry to laugh, sorry to laugh, sorry to laugh. But I did manage to find a picture on the fight making sub of the victim. And it doesn't get, it doesn't make it better, you know? It really doesn't. But this is the post, right? And you see a screenshot here from when it happened of you know brendan Schultz's wife and it's a it's a you know it looks like a facetime call from when she was alive of the whole family minus brendan by the way he's not there which is you know funny enough and that's the grandmother there of course that passed away so r.i.p to, to, to nana and it says my first b-day without you grandmother i miss you more than you know now the funny thing about her and again not to not to talk ill of the dead but think about this just look at what look at what she looks like now think about how brendan describes his the mexican side of his family does she look like she's fresh off the boat to you does she look like a does she look like she can't speak english to you <laughs> like honestly does she look like somebody that's i don't know that's selling fucking tamales on the street corner that's how brendan describes his fucking mexican family why do you guys think he has such like contempt for his Mexican family when they look so lovely like the whole family looks lovely like let, let's say what you want about the wife and stuff but the whole fam looks super sweet no like super warm super loving you can imagine like they've got that you know Mexicans for the most part or most people from that part of the world are very family orientated they look after each other like the, you know like look, look how close they are there those are all, I think that guy there's her brother. That that's her mum. That's Brendan Shaw's wife there. Maybe that's the kid when they were, when they were younger. They're clearly very very close. So what do you think it is about Brendan that he kind of 
pushes them away a little bit. Do you think it's because he kind of, it makes him feel uncomfortable, the fact that they're so close and they're so cool with each other? Like, what is it about it? Because it's always really like, I don't know, it's always a bit sus when I see the way he talks about them. He talks about them with a lot of contempt, which is odd because he clearly likes Latinas. He likes the big bums, he likes the boobs, he likes the culture to some extent, but he doesn't really like the family. And they seem lovely. Like, honestly, I don't, I've not seen anything from them that makes them look awful people. They seem kind of lovely, but he just doesn't warm to them, doesn't speak a lick of Spanish. He probably can't even say his, like, you know, my name is or hello or shit. Nothing. Doesn't eat their food. Not interested in going back to the country or anything about the country. Zero. Doesn't care. The most he cares about when it comes to fucking that part of the world is maybe narcos right or what or like pablo escobar books or something that's the only thing he kind of cares about when it comes to that sort of stuff like documentaries that's it in real life he really doesn't care so i wonder why what is it about brendan that he seems so detached from that side of his family when it seems so lovely what do you guys think um da -da -da. we're talking about guadalajara here papa mexicans are dicey in every facet um okay what's that he's uh what you guys saying it's so east to click with mexican fam exactly Koyla. um just enjoy the bomb ass food and smile when they hand you mo modelos exactly it's like that would be so much fun honestly i think especially some, coming from somebody that's got like a small family going to like somebody being with a relationship with somebody that's got like a big family and they're all really close sometimes it's like they take you in as their adoptive son. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of nice. You have like an adoptive family that you're also a part of. And you kind of, you know, again, especially if it's a different culture, a different race, you get to explore a whole different side of the world that you probably weren't aware of and stuff. It's quite, it's quite warm. It's quite nice and heartwarming. You know what I mean? But for some reason, Brenda doesn't want that. You're like, nah, the Green Reaper came in knocking and I had to get eaten. Um, I'm late. What do you guys think? It's probably the only time he gets any pushback from anyone true. He wasn't loved as a kid. Uh, more talk about than Guadalajara. Same reason he won't say wife. Oh, Colin Leach. He's podding. He's podding. Uh-oh. Uh, maybe they can see through Peppa's BS, but they understand or don't care about her. I think it's the opposite. I think most likely, because they love the daughter so much, they probably put up with his shit because they love the daughter. And they know, in general, because I think, you know, the, the, that type of culture i think similar to like parts of africa they're very old school they don't believe in like divorce or breaking up like that's like the the last straw last last straw you don't ever do that sort of shit and they know for the most part you give your your kids a better chance of making it or becoming successful if you keep them in the household you know it's a bit toxic because then that can you know people can take advantage of that stuff especially when it comes to domestic abuse you know and stuff like that it can get really 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 dicey dicey as brendan would say but I think a lot of that has to come from that. Like they love her so much, they're willing to put up with him because they know that, you know, he's still their kid's father and stuff and it kind of is what it is. Um, but I don't know. They just, every time I see pictures of them, they're always smiling. They're always having a good time. They're always laughing, you know? They're always together. But Brendan's never there, <laughs> you know? He's never there. <laughs> it's always just them. It's like, it, it's like, it's like they're separated. How they, how they kind of like, run their family in a way it's really odd i don't know if you guys have noticed it but it's kind of strange that's why that video actually let, let me play it that video of brendan fucking hugging the mum and giving them the fucking keys the house is if i can find it brendan shub uh buys mum is it buys mother-in-law is it house that's why that video of the meeting was so awkward it seems so fake because clearly um you know they don't really like talk that much you can see um or really hang out he seems to like be the type of person that when his family comes around he puts on his headphones <laughs> you know what i mean because you already said before one of the things that i was like thinking like wow man you could never get away with that you know if you weren't famous and if you weren't rich if you weren't paying the bills you couldn't get away with that i remember brendan once saying that um with his fat yeah brendan said with his family sometimes because they always cook Mexican food, he doesn't like it. Like, I think it's a bit any special, but it's actually true. Not too many people know uh, this, uh, 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 uh. but for the last five years, your boy has been... Yeah, so I'll play a minute, but he said um, when he... Um, because he doesn't like Mexican food too much or they cook it too much, 
he legitimately will order Domino's and shit. He'll order Domino's pizza when his mother-in-law comes in, um, comes at home, comes home, sorry, and cooks tamales or cooks traditional fucking Mexican food, whatever it may be, whatever dish they, they're cooking on that day, and he doesn't want to eat it. He'll just order pizza. So imagine Brendan sitting in his big house surrounded by his big family, his extended family. They're all around the kitchen, talking really loudly, speaking, you know, Spanish, fucking playing their good music and stuff, joking, being jovial. And he's sitting there, like, on his phone, <laughs> not reading comments and eating his fucking Domino's pizza with his headphones on. <laughs> like, I can't imagine you could get away with that if you were a regular civilian that didn't pay the bills and stuff. Like, that is crazy. Anyway, here's a video. And... I think this video proves my theory that, well, not my theory, but, you know, in general, that he doesn't really like his extended family. If he could just hang out, with, if, he, if his wife didn't have a family, he'd be so much happier. You know, if it was just, just him, just them and the kids. But the family thing just gets on his nerves because this interaction he had with the mother-in-law when he bought her a house, you know, which some people would say he bought the house because he got caught cheating, who knows? But it was so awkward. Let's play. Not too many people know this. But for the last five years, your boy has been saving every single dime from all my touring on the road for one reason, one reason only. It's a big goal for anybody. Whatever you're doing, whether you're in entertainment, podcasting, YouTuber, regular gig, whatever it is, your goal always is to buy your parents a house. My kids are going crazy right now. My kids are going absolutely crazy. The goal is always to buy your parents a house. Well, today, all that hard work, all those tour dates, all that stuff, it's come to fruition. I'm buying my mother-in-law a house. She's the best grandma in the world. She has no idea this is happening. She's gonna pull up the house. I'm gonna give her the keys. So I wanna thank the fans out there for making this possible, buying every single ticket to all those crazy cities I was in. To the haters too, you motivate me more than you know, but I love you guys. I didn't even realize where she went like. Yo, big up Stinger, girl. I appreciate you, brother. You think Mexicans family know about the baddies? Hundred percent, one million percent, one million percent, one million percent. Um, oh, it's fucking your hair is getting on my nerves. Um, the wife seems to be very close with her mum, and not to be rude, but she doesn't seem like she has a lot of friends, and she, so I'd imagine she probably, you know, has spoken to her mum about it, even if it's just allegations, because you know she doesn't clearly doesn't believe it. She got her head in the sand a little bit, which is, it's, you know, it's your own prerogative. Look after your family, but I, I'm sure they know, which probably is why this is so awkward. They know, but they kind of put up with it because, you know, he gives their daughter a life that she probably couldn't ever have on her own. You know what I mean? And they've got kids and stuff. So they get a little bit, what's that thing called? They just, the, the brain switches. I think that kind of, like, again, because I, I know that kind of culture because, I don't know, African people are kind of the same. That kind of old school mentality is very good in some parts because you take away the emotion which us normal people would probably have, you know, regular Westerners will probably have a lot more emotion, a lot more hurt feelings about that sort of stuff because, you know, it's a bit of a betrayal. But I think that kind of um, conservative, religious, old school, slash boomer, whatever, or just traditional mentality, it allows you to kind of put up with a lot. So you kind of, you know, you become blind to some things that you obviously can see for the betterment of the fucking family. I think that's what happened. So that's probably what happened. You know what I mean? It's just like, hey, what else am I gonna do? Do you know what I mean? The lady is in her mid is in what her mid thirties, about to have three kids. You leave Brendan and do what? Do you know what I mean? Like, let's be real. Like, let's be for real, for real. Let's let's not you know, let's not kind of beat around the bush. Like, what does she do after she leaves Brendan? Start an OnlyFans with three kids in your mid thirties. It's not gonna be easy. Do you know what I mean? Like, what, do you, do you, do you go back and start doing uh, TV presenting and stuff and hosting that she was doing before? I don't think so. W would gigs still be open for her? Maybe in a Spanish-speaking market? Maybe, but again, could would, would she be able to have the life that she has now of not working and basically, you know, living a life of luxury? Probably not. So all those things kind of go into it. You put your kids through good schools and shit. You know, it kind of is what it is. I mean, so if you have to go out and do tour dates and, you know, finger blast a couple of waitresses at the fucking Ha Ha in Idaho or something, and you get Birkin bags and your kids get baby Jordans and shit, it might be a good deal to make. It's a bit bad to say. It sounds fucking nuts, but it might be a good little bargain to make, to be honest. It might be a good deal to make there. Like the house.
Mama. Hi, guys. Oh, what's going on? Hey, hi, Maple. Oh, you made it. <laughs> Did, did you see how sweet she sounded? Did you see how un fob, fresh off the boat she sounded? This guy described this lady like she was literally pushing a cart along the street. You know, like no English, no passport, just vibes. And she seems lovely. <laughs> well spoken, better English than Brendan. Like, <laughs> I fucking love it. Look at that hug. Mama. She comes in close and Brendan's got this like look at look at Brendan. He's kind of giving her the hug that you give your your fucking your work wife or something, you know? Or a work colleague. <laughs> That's the kind of hug he's giving him. Like, get in there, man. Belly to belly, brother. Get in there. Belly to fucking belly. Give her some love. Pick her up a little bit or something. Come on, bruh. You made it. <laughs> Mama. Yeah. This is your house. Yeah. That's why you guys are filming. Mm -hmm. The mother in law's acting. The mother in law's acting. Come on, mama. Come on, mama. Huh? Come on. What's it uh was it Abuela or something? Oh, is it Abuela that you call mum? Is it Abuela? Or would I call her an abuela? I don't know. Whatever the fucking term is. She knew what was going on. She was told already in the car. She was told in the fucking Lambo on the way there what was happening. <laughs> I love the acting though. 10 out of 10 for the acting. Well, he, he did call her a grandma. So, abuela. Abuela might be true. Because she technically is a grandma, isn't she? Stretch yours, Mama. Go ahead. Me that's so sweet, dude. Yeah, man. Was... Oof. God damn it, bro. He looked hella puffy back then, didn't it? Fair play to Brendan. There's a theory out there that he's on Ozempic. Maybe. But he, he, he doesn't drink as much on air. So big up, big up him for doing that. He has pulled back on the drinking on 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 air at least anyway. He's not fucking swigging the you know the whiskey from the bottle or even putting massive fucking you know um, pores in his in his glass. So maybe that's the case. But I've read somewhere on Reddit people are hypothesizing that he's kind of he's doing Oz Ozempic on the sly. He's not mentioned it, but he looks way less puffier in the face and he's lost a bit of weight I think overall. But God damn it, bro, the jump scare. The next like look when he comes into frame. Look at his face. <laughs> that's so sweet, dude. Like, that is fucking hell. That's like he's been up on a fucking 16-hour bender, bro. Like, God damn. So, um, yeah, that was funny. Um, and then one final video here to kind of show you that, you know, uh, maybe the, the wife, you know, isn't the fan of how he describes, of how he, you know, talks about certain things this video is fucking interesting let's play this one because i think some of you guys maybe ha haven't seen this right uh let's play this boom boom boom, boom. no she doesn't harp on it she just she, it is, she's because i'll say uh you know, like, it's not a big example. deal and it's triggering for her. oh god yeah so it'd be like some word. major shit <laughs> like her grandma passing away but like, it's not a big deal i mean <laughs> how old is she and she'll be like she's like 90 i'm like mm. That's what ninety people. That's what ninety year olds do, yeah. and she'll get super upset because she's like, "Oh, you have no, you know, you have no love for this." Or I'm like, "But it's like that's life. Like that's yeah. the circle of life." Yeah, ninety, you're out, man. <laughs> <laughs> you had a good run, <laughs> great run. Ninety, mm -hmm. <laughs> you're a fucking circle. circle. I saw that. Yeah, ninety. Ninety. That's a great. Run. You're out. <laughs> you're out. Ninety's good. Ninety. Yeah. Yo, Chappelle used to work for his money, in it. Chappelle used to work for his money, bro. Chappelle used to fucking glaze for his money. The way he's laughing at Brendan, you'd think he was in the company of like Louis C.K., Dave Chappelle, um, Eddie fucking Murphy, Steve Harvey. You'd think he's in the company of some beast. The way he's fucking laughing at Brendan. Chappelle used to work for his money. I'm so glad he's away from the guy, but he must look back at some of these videos and cringe. 
Like he was working for his money. He was glazing Brendan harder than hard, bro. Come on, Chappelle, bro. Like, like, calma. Fucking tranquilo, as they say in Spanish, right? Tranquilo. Fuck. <laughs> years? Yeah. Great run. 90 years? Great run. Mm -hmm. Now, now, now you said 90. You chose that number. We didn't ask it. You gave it to us. <laughs> what, is there any significance behind the number 90 for you? No, I mean, she's old. That's 90. Yeah, that was her fucking age. Like my, my grandma, I think, is 98. 98. Whoa. Oh, damn. Congratulations. She's 98. She, she, may, uh, she might be 99. Wow. Not in shape. Not in shape. Swims every day. Damn. What? But, like, when she passes, it's like... I wasn't that close to her, but like my dad would be like fucked up about it. But like, oh, says everything in it. Wasn't close to his own grandmother, not close to his own mother. So it's hard for him to be empathetic, empathetic, empathetic. How do you fucking say that word to other people's grandmothers or mothers? Right. Maybe that's where it comes from. Maybe it's that simple. Maybe. I was your dad's mom. That's yeah. Dad's I probably mom, won't yeah. fly home to the funeral. funeral like yeah. I miss my other grandma who I was way closer with. I miss her funeral. That's your mom's mom. Yeah. Yeah. Like that stuff. That's not, that's not how this life, dude. Damn. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's. Yeah. <laughs> Stinger good. He's only close to Joe Rogan. <laughs> I told you guys, right? God forbid it happening anytime soon. But I swear to God. I swear to God. When or if, whenever it happens, when Rogan passes, you're going to see Brendan cry like you've never seen him cry in your life they might not they might not even record for like a week but when they do finally get on camera they'll be snot dripping down his fucking face eyes puffy i don't know how this happened I don't know. like they will be shaking it will be fucking like you know what i mean like legitimately legitimately they will be in bits more so than anything else in their family. I guarantee you. That's how pathetic this whole thing is. You care way more about these fucking grown men you met in flipping, you know, comedy clubs than you care about your own family. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. But other than that, yeah, nothing it, bothers me. But other than that, nothing. Now, now, that, you're not, you're not. Oh, I'm messy. I'm real messy. But then this is. Anyway, we don't care about the rest of the stuff. But yeah, yeah. Um, the 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 wife not being happy with Brendan saying Grim we Grim Reaper came and knocking uh, was very funny. I'm not gonna lie, because at least we now know that she's somewhat normal. Because yeah, who would be happy about seeing that, right? <laughs> your <laughs> your husband describing your grandmother passed away as the Grim Reaper came and knocking, and he makes it sound like it wasn't like they inconvenienced him because he wanted to go out to dinner. He was kind of hungry. He already did, you know, it took him ages to get the fucking booking at whatever restaurant they were going to. And then suddenly the, you know, the flipping abuela picks up a call and, you know, the, the grandmother's passed away. The great grandmother was like, oh, man, I want to go and eat. Now we've got to do all this fucking stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, Brenda's fucking amazing. Um, Kessa Moda saying Papa would cry harder than his normal allegations. Supervisor Moda, exactly. Papa would die way before Rogan. Oof, I don't know. I don't want to get into that, to be fair. I'm already getting a bit... Maybe it's a maybe it's a Christian in me, Christian upbringing in me. Maybe it's a fucking... Maybe I'm a big fucking pussy. But it's a bit unsettling when you go on the, 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 your, the, the your mum's house Reddit and the Burt Kreischer Reddit and stuff. And you see people like um, trying to guess when Burt's going to die. <laughs> i don't like that i think that's really odd personally i don't like that they're like all like trying to guess when he's gonna die i don't want to i don't want to you know i don't want to contribute to that kind of conversation i think that's awful and also i don't think it's based in reality i know so many people who are fucking alcoholics and shit who've lived long and fruitful lives like people just act as if the, you know Brett's like the first person they've seen who doesn't take care of themselves and indulges themselves <laughs> oh fucking hell Brandon I got mid 2025 <laughs> okay no mass I'm not I'm not taking part in this um I'm not taking part in this the, 